How's it going guys? Today let's talk about car battery tester. My old one broke and I just picked up another one. This one is made by the Diag Tool. You can get one of those for around $60 and right now they have coupon for 30% off. So it ended up being around $42. And if you're dealing with batteries in your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, or lawnmower, this tool comes in really, really handy. Included in the box, we're gonna find the user's manual. Here you can read how to use this tool and the tool itself. The quality looks pretty good. We've got the wires with the clamps, positive and negative. There's also this Velcro strip to keep it all neatly organized. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how it works and run a couple tests with it. One of the most useful features of this tool is ability to check the battery charge status. For example, here I've got this small battery for a fish finder on my kayak, and sometimes it may sit in the garage for a few weeks before I go on to my next fishing trip. And before I go, it's really good to know if the battery is fully charged or not. The battery is made by Everstart, a GM standard rated for 130 cold cranking amps. On the main menu, we're going to choose motorcycle section. Then we're going to select set battery rating. Let's go ahead and set it to rated 130 cold cranking amps. Press OK and the entire test takes only a few seconds. And as we can see here, the status of health of this battery is at 100%, but the status of charge is only at 42% which tells us this is still pretty good battery, just needs to be recharged. In the next example, let's take a look at this bad battery. I tried to charge it for multiple hours, but it still wouldn't work. And when I connect the battery tester tool, it would not even power up. It only needs six volts to operate and we're not even getting that, which clearly tells us this battery is no longer good and needs to be replaced. I also have another old small battery that is completely dead. So it seems like these two are going to the recycling facility. Here's another example of a battery where the status of charge is at 100%, but the status of health is at 72, which means this is still pretty good battery, but it started losing its full charging capacity. Next, let's try to test the battery inside a vehicle. Let's go to car section on the menu, 12 volt, inside the vehicle, battery test. The tool is asking you to turn on the headlights for 10 seconds and then turn it off. Let's go ahead and do that. Next, I'm gonna choose the battery specs and run the test. And we've got status of health 87 and status of charge 88. It's still fine, there's nothing to worry about here yet, uh, but looks like this battery is already aging. Another test that I wanted to run is on my lawnmower hasn't been starting lately and if I connect the tool sure enough the battery is completely dead even after I try to recharge it so it's definitely time to replace it next up let's go ahead and try the cranking test 12 volt in the vehicle cranking test the engine needs to be turned off before you start the test press ok and then you can start the engine Same thing, this test only takes a few seconds to complete and we've got 14.76 maximum voltage and 9.5 minimum. According to this tool, everything is normal. And the very last thing on this list is the charging test. We're gonna start it with the car idling. And then we'll need to increase the speed to 2500 RPM and hold it there for 10 seconds. Once again, nothing's wrong with my charging system. We've got 14.3 volts under the load and almost 15 with no load. Everything looks pretty normal. Another really cool feature is the waveform. Here you can see how many volts your alternator is producing in real time. On my car, the waveform is pretty stable. There's not a whole lot of fluctuation, even when changing the engine RPM. The next thing on the menu is the review section. Here you can review or delete the latest battery or waveform test results.
You also have ability to upload and print test results in case you work in a shop and you would like to present this information to your customers. Under setup section, you can choose one of 12 different languages. You can turn the buzzer on or off. Equipment test allows you to test the buttons and the LCD screen. In the about section, you can find the model number of your tool as well as the software and hardware versions. All right, that's pretty much it. I think it's a very useful tool for me personally. I like having it because let's face it, today everybody has things with batteries in them. And when they're giving you some trouble, it's good to be able to test them properly. All right, I hope the video was helpful. And if so, please give it a like. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.